Good morning. I want to do a sound check test and uh, I think I may have solved the problem. So I'm just going to come back to air. So if any one of you still in and like to join us for our breakfast show, we will definitely go ahead. But let me just make sure the sound is coming in okay. Uh, there was some audio technicality. Uh, uh, I think we have managed able to fix it, but I'm just want to come back to in oh sounds good right thank you thank you Chow Yan. so we are back again but before we do that uh let me just make sure i get the uh, sounds uh, is good so okay right you can hear it, right and uh let me just uh, update this so how about the rest other than i have a user here with me thanks you miss uh chung yao okay and uh okay so let me just ah uh, yeah yeah it's much better now that's right that's right so we will continue with this and you know we just have to i suppose uh you know uh live with the condition that we uh that we have and continue to improve oh okay uh i will probably share this in to a page Okay, let me just share to my public and I'll share to my public here. So, okay, looks like the sound is good and we were good to go. All right. Okay, share one more. Okay, do share it in your group. Really appreciate that. If you can, I'll... Okay, welcome to the breakfast show with Smart Roby. And again, uh, this is uh, uh, another attempt to really correct the audio that I've been having in here lately. So hopefully I'm able to fix this and uh, thanks to, to our team in here to able to give it a lot of advice. So let's try to move on what we have today in here. Because usually when I try to switch on to the different scene, that's where the sound is. So do bear in mind, see how it goes. Let's move on to our story for today. Now, today our story is going to be on the another rubber glove. So we've seen a lot of rubber glove player coming in and uh, so this is going to be another one, right? We never give up in our story as we try to produce a, a good show for you so you can exchange it. And today is no other than on Star Business. And this is on Star Business. They talk about Ma Singh. That's right. Now, uh, Ma Singh really coming into the glove manufacturing industry right now. So they are competing with the big four, Supermax, Hatalega, Kosan, and Comfort 2. So they are not small to be frank with you and they are coming in nicely in here. They are looking to invest almost 150 million investment into the facility and they're going to be a big player with 20 billion gloves. That's right. So this is uh, how they're going to pan out. And I think Looking at it, being a property player for the last 20 years, they are coming in right now at the right time too. No doubt there will be many criticism. Again, they consider themselves as a big conglomerate. If you are doing business and you see opportunity in the rubber glove, don't you want to do it? And I think it's the same thing too. So the question is, is there enough uh, supply, uh, sorry, is there enough demand for them if they're able to supply to the COVID-19? Now, we all know that in the COVID-19 uh, scenario that we're saying, we won't get the vaccine until next year. So this will definitely give them a lot of opportunity to grow. Uh, but the question is, is this a short term or a long term in here? Of course, having seen the big slice of margin and profit from the other four makers, Massing wanted to put his hand into the honey jar. That's right. So let's move on to our next story. So our next story is no other than Mr. DIY, which we all know on the 26th of, uh, 26th of October, they'll be coming in with their IPO. And yesterday, uh, uh, Samaiden, which is another uh, energy player, come in and did have almost 100% gain on that. So IPO seems to be the game in town right now. But the question has always been, the evaluation. So if the game in town, you can make 100%, then you might just treat it like a short-term investment. Just 
get rid of it within the first two days if you have the IPO. But the question always falls back to the valuation for DIY. You can see that the DIY is even higher than Vitrox, Carlsberg, Henneken, and BAT, and so forth. And they are they are priced in around 30 times. If you notice, uh, the uh, this uh, the Dollar Tree shop is only discount in 20 times. And we all know what happens also in 7-Eleven, right? They first uh, wanted to go listing, and then eventually they what happened? They finally, you know, uh, becoming more and more quiet. And I think at one time, uh, might just, you know, take it off. We don't know. So again, DIY shop in my right now, based on the valuation that we're seeing, this is more of a short term play rather than long term play, right? So thanks, Richie. Okay, in here. So let's let's move on to our next story that we have for you in here. So our next story is on Powell. Now Powell gets a Sunway job, so that seems to be interesting. So uh, again, the LRT3 project is going to be out and part on parcel of the budget 2021. So let's have a look at Power Well that we've seen so far here. Okay, Power Well, and we'll look on to the charts that we've seen in here. The sound still okay, everybody? If it's okay, just type in there. Give me a thumbs up too. Do share this also on your screen. So you can see Powell right now, you know, it has really moved up on this good news. So you can see why we always talk about the influence of smart money. They know this kind of thing does come out. You can see stock price already move up, but profit taking already started in here. And this project, they have secured 9.1, not a lot, but they're definitely able to move the stock price higher. And that's again, from the smart money, it's good enough in here, all right? So let's move on to the next story that we have for you. Now, next story is on LPI. LPI is another side arm of public bank in the area of insurance, uh, motor, housing, and they've done pretty well despite the COVID-19. A lot of stimulus inside and uh, Tan Sui Te Hong Piao, which is the also chairman for Lonpak and Public Bank came out and, and pretty happy to announce that the net profit is 86.17 million compared to 87. Still making money despite all the COVID what we've seen. Uh, it is strong, but LPI like it or not, the lack of interest, will they go on to what YTL are doing? or what top club are doing, like initiating a share buying back. Definitely a share buying back will definitely help. You can see even this morning, it's only up 0.2%. And on chart wise, you look at LPI, right? It is doing all in orange bin bar. Let's look at the fundamentals, right? LPI. And now we can see this is undervalued. That's right. Usually in the finance, it's undervalued. It's a PE of 15 times a PE uh, compared to a sector 24. Uh, ROE definitely 18 times much higher than the sector average and DIY of uh, dividend, okay, of 5.5%. So this is actually a good dividend share. And right now, right at a good base for those of you who are investing in the longer term, this is not too bad. And also intrinsic value of $15, a projection target price of $14.14 .14 on the PE of 17.5 times. Now is only doing 15 times PE. So that's a bit of uh, uh, upside from here. And chart wise, you have seen earlier on, on this, you can see right now, it's really base building in here. So this is one of those good undervalued shares, which again, not many people are interested to be buying because they don't like to buy something that is like this so bad, right? Okay, let's move on to our next story we have for you. So our next story we have for you is ah, the Gloria days of VSI. Now we all know VSI is part of the EMS electronic manufacturing services for uh, the famous Dyson product in here. Now they have secured another fifth order from US and because of the US China tension which usually Chinese they, they get a lot of business from US for a lot of their electrical appliances like but right now VS seems to be benefiting from the US China trade war and uh, this stocks is considering going much much higher in here but the story goes about the three year net profit that will be continued with net profit in here as such VS continue to make good news this kind of stock usually uh will go higher in here and you can see this is a nice rocket ship if you have gone in the earlier uh in july and hold it and get back in you will make some money from v, uh, the VS in here. So the Green Pentagon is one of those early signals really to get you in and get you fast in inside here. So VS, uh, is it cheap? Of course, it's not going to be cheap. Let me just show you what I mean. Looking at the stock fundamental in here, 
right and you can see it is almost uh, just at the sector average ROE because of the tight margin they're getting you know definitely the return on equity is only 6.6 percent but dividend about one percent inside here so uh, obviously it's overvalued so you're buying more of a growth share and right now this is one of those very nice trending stocks in here so VS is definitely good so look for pullback to buy when the market moves sideways and the other if you want to have another one another alternative which I did recommend last week was uh ATA IMS. Okay, let's look at the stock fundamental of ATA IMS. I did cover in one of the talks I talked about EMS earlier on. Go over to the uh, Trade VSA Google and watch it in here. So you can see on this one, right, uh, you can see Denko, 10%, uh, no dividend in here. Hasn't really been moving up much compared to the other one, right? Uh, but Oh, also move up with you also too. This, this is ATA INS, uh, which I did uh, pitch in on uh, uh, two episodes ago uh, when he had that uh, premium alert in here. So what is he saying? He's saying that Notion VTAG, which make Dyson product, will stand. But, and Notion is actually not too bad because it has uh, healthcare. They are making the mask. And then he also had a bit of the electric, electrical appliances where they make the aluminum explosion inside there. Uh, so something to consider. So check out ATA INS, VS, and SKP Resources and Ocean, Ocean VTech. These are those three growth stocks that if you have, I think you should have some of those in here. All right. So let's move on to our next story. Okay. So our next story is no other than uh, the talk that I talked about, the UOB Kehang uh, Trading Signal with Smart Roby, the live webinar. Now, last night I did a talk on Smart Roby training with the UOB Kehang in here. And we did talk about Busa as this was brought out by one of the participants. I said, you know, when you see Busa had a green pentagon last night, right? And this stock were likely to move up because a lot of people tend to speculate, you know, what stock going to move up. And we have it very, very simple for you. So on the stock like this, when you have green pentagon, and let's look at Busa right now, okay? If you don't know, just type 1818. 1818. Busa do really choose a really nice number. <laughs> okay, so you can look at Busa 1818. And it's one of those, again, very similar to LPI. And it four rating. That's right. A four rating, which is an investment grade. Uh, PE, a bit pricey, but return on equity compensate for that at 30 times with a 3% dividend and definitely a target price of $9.20. So right now it's doing 880. So very fast and only 5% potential going up in here. It's already started to move up. But uh, if you want to have it for longer term, I think this is pretty good at a PE of 30.5 times uh, that's already $9.20. The return of equity needs to go up in here. So something to consider if you're looking at Busa, but it does come from a low base. Now, remember those of you who watched from last night would have known what I'm talking about. This, okay. But then again, I will talk about this on this coming Saturday, a special talk on political counters again. So make sure you catch me in here. Now, Busa again did came out on our uh, Pentagon guided stock you can see in here, right at the below here, number 81818. This is the, the one that I'm talking about. Okay, 1818. So let's move on to our next story. So our next story talk about the US market. Now, last night when I'm about to go to bed, I saw the 500 point or almost 300 point drop. I said, oh, another down. But, but this morning, the market rebounded with a small loss and it forms a sign of strength, a spring. So that tells you that is still a lot of oom in the US market. I think a lot of uh, economic stimulus is still being talked between the uh, Steve Mnuchin from the Republican versus the Nancy Pelosi on something they want to agree on. It's just that they couldn't uh, come to agreement. Is it 2.1 trillion or 1.8 trillion in there? Now, if all this stimulus is going to be good, that's why the market has also priced in this market going forward. We are just only a few more weeks, less than 18 days to the November 3rd election. And it is going to be bloody, I can tell you that. Partly because we will not get the result on the November 3rd because a lot of the envelopes is going to be open out. If it's going to be closed, I think Donald Trump will dispute using he, her new queen, which is the uh, Garrett, Amy Garrett, as a court to rule in favor of them. So if the market were to rule in favor of Donald Trump due to the closed election call, it's going to be uh, first time seeing how the market will react to it. All right. But right now, the market is pretty much pricing a Joe Biden win that a Donald Trump Maybe lacking the the race is still very close. Okay, the race is still very close. Uh, bear in mind for the U.S. market. 
So on our premium alert uh, on Wednesday on the 14th, episode 61, today is episode 62, uh, we pick LKL and Notion. And we, as I said before, we want to be biased towards the healthcare as the news of the COVID-19 vaccine and healthcare coming. Even D-Pharma started to move up. So check out those D-Pharma, Pharma Nyaga. If you have watched me on Wednesday night, some of those counter I've talked about in here. But this morning, we talk about GCAP, which I pick. All right, and uh, and remember, our premium alert changes every fifteen minutes. So this morning, I've uh, chosen also on the uh, what stock was that? Uh, another one is I have it here D and O, which actually came out in the last half an hour. So G cap was the first one. So D and O, so D and O. Okay, D and O, and we'll look at the livestock prices. Okay, 4% in here. Let's look at the chart here. So you can see the, the chart that we have here. So you can see this is a nice breakout for DNO. Third time breakout. And this is the kind of stocks that I like. So DNO is our second pick for tonight after uh, GCAP. GCAP used to be the old name for Gunung Capital. So those are our two stocks for this way. And we will review that on Monday. That's right. Okay. Now, next story that we have for you is no other than political, which is surrounded since Wednesday. We've been talking about it where the uh, incumbent <laughs> prime minister... Okay, Tun Muhidi. So we are having a bit like like Joe Biden and and uh, Donald Trump too. But our one is more like you know, kind of like you know, fighting between the, the the palace and and also the politician in here. But all will be reviewed when we come back and talk about it on this Saturday. So make sure you join me on this Saturday the, for the part two of the change in politics and the impact to the KLSC on the post market. COVID-19 recovery. So we will see how the market will go on. So all this is absolutely uh, free. And I think we will broadcast on Facebook. But those of you who have joined our uh, live uh, uh, telegram, okay, we have sent out the invitation to you. So you'll get the first preference out there. So on the 17th of October, again, make sure you join me for this special talk for that one. Again, I apologize for this morning for the audio technicality. I think we have fixed this. So for the best Telegram in town for free information, free top, free tips, free education. Join our trade VSA for that one. All right, thank you. And this is the QR code. Just do that. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube. With that, I bid you a good morning and apologize again for these morning technicalities. I think we have solved that. And if not, I'll see you tomorrow at 2 p.m. Thank you. Bye-bye.